with another big message that I have, which is often men feel like no matter what I do, it's not enough to make her happy because he'll take her on a, uh, do something big, like a fancy date or a vacation, yes. and she's glowing. And then the next week, she's like feeling like neglected. And he's going, well, I just did this big thing. How could you feel neglected? Because he, what men feel, I did this big thing. Now I can go to back to work and focus on work. Right. And she's thinking, well, now we're getting so close. Our relationship's at a better level. A man thinks that if I do something big, that score is huge. That's like a thousand points. That ought to last he's for a well while. He's well in credit then. Right. And for women, what men have to know is women also keep score in relationships, but they have a whole different scoring system. Ah. Imagine going into a game and you, know, you don't know the scoring system. You don't know how to make points. So what women, the way they score it is every act of love, big or small, scores one point. So you, you, you did this wonderful thing. She goes, that's so loving. But if men could learn this, they can learn to do little things. And that scores as much as big things. So you can bring her two dozen roses, and she goes, oh, how wonderful. You can bring her one rose, and she's going to go, oh, how wonderful. That's so if true. you want your 24 points, bring her one rose 24 times. And that's a metaphor for, for men to realize, oh, lots of little things, not big things, easy stuff. You know, like when I come home, first thing I do is I find my wife. That's a point. Mm -hmm. Most guys go find the TV set. That's true. <laughs> it's like men and women play a little game of hide and seek. When, 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 if men are coming home and she's there, she'll go hide the seat. Does he even care if, I still, if I'm still alive? <laughs> and, and he's, of course, he's playing a little game. He'll go to the TV set and he hides, but he doesn't want to be found. She wants to be found. I guess it's a compromise because, you know, you, you, you take on the coaching tips and you think, well, hang on, between the two of us, if he just comes in the door and gives me a, a kiss on the cheek, then I'm happy he goes and watches the television. He thinks then, well, hang on a minute, all it takes is a kiss on the cheek, then I can sit down and I can go into my cave and I can watch telly. Everyone's happy. Everybody's it's win -win. happy. It's win-win compromises. And that's the little solutions that we work out for everybody and help them to work out because everybody's uniquely different. And just to have one way for everybody certainly doesn't work. But these principles do help us get a sense of where women are coming from, where men are coming from, and there's always small adjustments for people. And it makes such a difference to have somebody to talk to about it who's educated in these principles. I like the way that you can sort of, I don't know, t seek a bit of reassurance. You know, I, am I mad in thinking about this or am I wrong in thinking about this? And I love the fact that it's, it's just that, that kind of little bit of self-confidence you may need or that little bit of reassurance. It's there, that little banter that you can have with somebody that's on your wavelength and can just help you coach you through the whole thing. That's so you, exactly You think, it. I'm not out of my mind, I'm, you know. And that, that one of the beautiful things about the Mars Venus message, it is so validating and reassuring. Women go, oh, okay, nothing's wrong with me. Men go, oh, okay, nothing's wrong with me. And some people think, oh, you're just letting them off the hook. You're just mm. letting her off the hook. Mm. No, we are. There's nothing wrong with it. We don't have to be so judgmental of people. And when we come from a place of love, then if we ask for support in a new way, our chances of getting it are much greater. So the principles can be used for everybody. I mean, we're, let's talk about the various well, I think relationships. It should be education at all levels. It's just fundamental. We have to be educated today on how to communicate effectively. And so that's from, missing in education. So from dating through to you know the latter the latter stages of you know the the, the children have left home there's there's little tips little bit, bits you can put into oh, practice all stages that will help and all ages time. of relationships our coaches are trained to guide people and help people and educate them um if there's anyone thinking about picking up the phone why should they give you a call and your coaching well life? you know basically there's too many thousands of people to talk to me directly but i've trained all of these coaches so that they can share with you the mars venus principles and guide you through whatever issue you're going through now, educate you with the principles so you can make better decisions in your life. So it, this is an important time. As you're hearing me, if you feel a little voice inside, well, gee, I'd like to talk to John or one of these coaches, just give it a try. Just go pick up the phone and talk to somebody. It's there, it's available to you. And sometimes people will say to me, John, what do you think is the most important thing that allowed you to be so successful mm -hmm. in your life? And I always go back and it's a message my mother gave me. And the message was, John, at any time in your life, whatever you need, it's always available. And if you feel like it's not, you're just looking in the wrong direction. Uh -huh. And if you feel like what you need is not available in your life, just look over to that phone and give us a call. The coaching that we received really helped me learn how to listen to Gina, and it really made such a difference with us.